It's Friday. We're going to go racing. But the big story in the garage area is Kurt Busch. I guess he's been out of racing for about three weeks because he had a bad wreck. Hurt his head. He ain't feeling right. I thought long and hard about this. I thought, well, I'm going to go ahead and give my opinion on that. I have to brag on the NASCAR liaison. Their medical staff has come so far that it is uh, that is worth sharing my story. As Schrader would say, 19 oh shit. <laughs> I am going down the back straightaway at Dover. I blew a tire and went straight in the wall. Took me to the infield care center, which was about what they did back then. I remember going in there, I looked up at the clock and I saw three twelves, three ones, three twos. I was knocked silly. Of course, I convinced them that I was just fine and they let me go. But that's the way it was back then. Uh, you know, things have got more innovative. They have uh, got a lot better. And that NASCAR medical liaison uh, saved my life, man. I'll tell you what, uh, Talladega, uh, my heart started catapulting late at night. I thought, what the hell's wrong with me? They had me in an ambulance, run me down to Birmingham, and, and there they all were. The NASCAR medical liaison got out of bed, and they were there with me. To this day, I have a special bond with uh, Lori, and uh, everybody knows the whole situation. You know what was wrong with me? Uh Drinking too much Mountain Dew, too much Coke, too much Pepsi. I was dehydrated from drinking shit. So I learned about water. <laughs> but this whole situation with Kurt Busch, uh, my point is this. Here's where I'm going with this story. NASCAR, I got to give you an attaboy. 100% one of the best things they've ever done for any driver out there. Uh, none of us can fake it. Now they have a library of your head. They have, you know, x-rays and and they compare, so uh, 100% NASCAR.